Cinderella's shoes go missing from a museum. This news causes ruckus around the town. The authority calls Detective Mayhul and Inspector Josh to investigate the case. A large number of people visited the museum on the day of the robbery. No clue was left behind by the thief. Mayhul carefully examines two footage of that day and immediately understands who the thief is. Look at these pictures, can you tell who did the robbery? Let's hop on to the answer. Observe these clips carefully, something about the girl in the purple top is quite suspicious. Her height increased in the second footage. How is this possible? This means that she is wearing Cinderella's stolen shoes. Let's move on to the next one. In London, throwing chocolate wrappers on the road became the new normal. The children were careless and dirted the roads on a daily basis. Hmm. Something needs to be done fought a shopkeeper and came up with a scheme. Scheme, scheme, scheme. Take one chocolate in exchange of three wrappers. The greedy children would take all their wrappers to the shopkeeper instead of throwing them on the street. If one chocolate is worth $3, how many chocolates do you think Rackle will be able to get from the shop if she has $15? Think carefully, pause the video if need be, and comment your answer below. Let's see the answer. For $15, Rackle will first take 5 chocolates. Rackle will get 5 wrappers for 5 chocolates. Rackle will get 1 more chocolate by giving 3 wrappers. His 1 wrapper means Rackle got 3 wrappers back, which means 1 more chocolate. This means Rackle will be able to get a total of 7 chocolates for $15. So, logical army, we should also not throw garbage on the road. And for such an amazing riddle, please like the video quickly. Let's move on to the next riddle. Mr. Smith, one of the richest men in town, met with an accident and lost his memory. His only child is his daughter. When he wakes up in the hospital, two girls claim to be his daughter. Clearly, one of the girls is lying. Can you help Mr. Smith in identifying his daughter? Look at these girls and comment your answer below. Let's take a look at the answer. Girl B is Mr. Smith's real daughter. If you noticed, the photo frame near Mr. Smith's bed is a picture of him with his daughter. Look at the picture carefully, Mr. Smith's real daughter has a mole on her left cheek. Here, Girl B has the same mole as the girl in the photograph. So, she's the real daughter. Interesting, wasn't it? Let's move on to the next one. A number of robbery incidences were occurring in a boutique. The guards somehow always failed to catch the thief. Fed up with these robberies, the owner asked Detective Mayhul for help. Mayhul visits the boutique and examines all the video footage. He finds something suspicious in one of the clips. He goes through the footage again and immediately catches the thief. Examine the footage carefully and let me know your answer through comments. Let's take a look at the answer. Girl C is the thief. She went inside the changing room with two dresses and came out with just one. She wore another dress under her clothes. The tag of another dress is lying here. Pathetic. Let's hop on to the next one. On a busy Monday morning, Alicia was found dead in her house. Detective Mayhul is called to investigate the matter. He reaches the crime scene and finds a murder weapon. Hmm. It's a blood-coated knife. Mayhul thinks to himself. The knife also has fingerprints on it. There was no one in the house when the murder took place. Mayhul decides to dig deep into Alicia's past. He gets to know that Alicia had many affairs, she betrayed many boys. These are the fingerprints on the knife and these five are the fingerprints of her boyfriends. Examine these fingerprints carefully. Can you decipher whether it was a murder or a suicide? Think and let me know your answer through comments. Let's take a look at the answer. If you look closely, Alicia's fingerprints match the fingerprints on the knife. 
which means Alicia has committed suicide. Let's move on to the next one. Simon dies in a car accident. Inspector Ron arrives at the crime scene. Hmm. Seems like after the incident, Simon got out of the car and died while crying for help. Thought Ron. But he finds something suspicious. Look at the crime scene carefully and tell me what do you think is off. Let's hop on to the answer. If you look closely, Simon has a plaster on his right hand and he has his car keys in the right pocket. How could this be possible? Let's move on to the next one. Anna's husband dies on an unpleasant evening. Anna immediately calls Inspector Pam. Pam quickly rushes to the crime spot. He then takes all day's details from Anna. She tells him, I used to be very upset with my husband. He used to eat all day. I thought of putting him on the diet plan from today and did not give him food. Later, I went to the office. When I came back in the evening, I saw that my husband has died and the apples are kept as it is. Apart from Anna, there were two other people present on the spot. Maid and the gardener. Maid tells the inspector that she has a doubt about the gardener. His eyes were on Sir's money. He must have killed him. Gardener says that he hasn't come home today so he's unaware of anything. Yes, but ma'am's affair was going on outside. Anna says. The gardener is lying. He has killed my husband. After hearing all three of them, Inspector Pam understands that it is a murder and who has done it. How? How did Pam understand? Think carefully and tell me your answer by commenting. If you think that only one person has done the murder, then you are wrong. Let's look at the answer. Maid and Anna have done the murder together. If apples were cut down in the morning, then they should be spoiled by evening. Secondly, why did Anna and the maid think it was a murder? He was extremely giant. He might have died due to some other reason too. From these two things, Pam understood that both of them have committed murder together. Pam arrests them. Now let's move on to the next story. There are three houses in front of you. Each house has a separate road leading to it. Which road will you choose? A, B, or C? Think and let me know your answer in the comments. All three roads are dangerous. I would rather swim and reach any one of the houses.